Hey everyone, this is Taylor Western with Speech Eats. I help parents come up with fun ways to get their kiddos excited about food. Now it is May 6th, which means if you're like me, you have a lot of tortillas left over from Cinco de Mayo. And I thought would be a fun way is to do a quesadilla huevos ranchero. Quesadilla, as you know, is a fantastic way to get your kids um, to try new vegetables because you can put it inside the cheese. So we're doing a huevos ranchero with um, as a quesadilla. So I'm making a quesadilla right here in the pot, just like so. And then I'm gonna add in my beans left over from last night. Now beans are fantastic. And the reason and why is because they've got lots of protein in them. Um, they're salty, you can add lots of flavor. So I'm putting the beans inside the quesadilla because then the kids aren't gonna look at it and go, oh, I don't eat those. But in a quesadilla, kids just tend to like them. I noticed that with tacos, kids like, to eat more vegetables and foods they normally wouldn't eat inside a tortilla, kind of like a hot dog or a hamburger, they eat anything inside a carb or a bun. So I'm putting, just making a quesadilla just like I normally would, with cheese and beans. You could also add in some spinach into your quesadilla or some black beans or, and by having your kids get involved, you can say what vegetable, what peppers, or what would you like to add into your quesadilla so your kids are part of the meal. So I'm heating up my quesadilla right here. And for the huevos, um, or the eggs, I'm gonna make my egg just like I normally would in the pan and put it on top. Now, um, eggs are a great source of protein for your kiddos. Now, if they don't like the runny egg, sometimes that's a texture issue for a lot of kids. So I like to recommend scrambling it. So you can have your huevos rancheros any way you want it. I'm doing it just with a um, runny egg on top. But for those kiddos that with the texture issues, scrambled eggs might be a better way to serve it on top of their quesadilla. And what's nice about scrambled eggs is you can add in cheese, um, whole fat milk or cream for kids that need that those extra calories. So scrambled eggs are a great vehicle for that. So adding in spinach, adding in cheese, ham, other or a protein into your scrambled eggs to put on top of your quesadilla is a good way to do that. So if your kiddo doesn't like that runny egg and they get them that texture, I would just go with this. And then if you have, or go with the scramble part. Now, if you have a kiddo that uh, likes crunch, you could put a tostada in between, the, like a crunch wrap in between the quesadilla for that crunch. And then those are for kids that really have those oral motor skills. They're probably over four. But um, for a younger kid, you can just crush up the tortilla chips pretty finely and put it within the quesadilla for those kids that like those crackers, that crunch piece. And then for a food play piece, what I would recommend is after you have the quesadilla um, all made up for them, get some cookie cutters. Have the kids make the cookie, um, make the shapes that they prefer. So um, that's also a great language piece. So, you know, you can have your kid, do you want to do a dog quesadilla or a bird quesadilla? Do you want a heart or a ball? And that's fantastic because then the kids can work on that fine motor piece and they can work on a language piece. Because I am a speech therapist and I also like to promote, promote language. So what's nice about it is you can say, you know, the dog goes woof woof. Because kids have to hear those words several, several times. So that's why I love cookie cutters because you kind of kill two birds with one stone. You're working on speech and you're also working on food play. Cookie cutters are great for interactive pretend play, another phenomenal part of speech development. So the dinosaur quesadilla is gonna come eat the cat quesadilla. So you can have a full pretend play experience on the plate and it's making food more fun. So I just seasoned my egg with just some garlic salt. I'm gonna put some Valentina salsa on it and then I'm gonna check my quesadilla. I like adding extra cheese on the edges of my quesadilla because um, cheese, when it gets nice and cooked and toasted, um, it adds that crunch that I'm talking about that kids tend to love. So I'm adding my cheese on top. And then for kiddos that like to dip, I wouldn't just put the salsa on top, I'd put it on the side. So for me, I'm gonna put my salsa right on top or my chili sauce right on top with my egg. Now, if you have a kiddo that, you know, has a lot of texture aversions, that's a lot of textures for kids to handle. So I would do a quesadilla with, you know, the beans in the middle and then put the, maybe put the scrambled eggs on the side. 
the um, they can have their webless French hairs however they want them. And then you can put with this tons of fun textures to uh, have the kids experience with. So you could do you know, maybe a mild salsa, a sour cream, those that also beats up the calories, or adding a, uh, a Greek yogurt maybe on the side instead of a sour cream, full fat Greek yogurt, great for calories, great healthy protein. Um, another great thing to add is black uh, refried beans. Refried beans is a phenomenal soft texture. It's got a lot of calories. I like to recommend refried beans to a lot of my kiddos that have trouble chewing and mom and dad are really worried about them gaining calories. It also works as a great vehicle for dipping. So dipping their quesadilla in the refried beans is just a wonderful way to uh, get that extra calorie boost, try a new texture, and it's also really flavorful. And the, um, cutting the quesadilla into different triangle pieces if you're not doing cookie cutters, that's a great way to practice with that interactive food plate. Dipping, they're using their hands, they're trying different textures. What I also like about quesadillas is you can cut them into triangles. Um, when you put it into triangles and you cut slices on, or slits in the side, it works on that bite. A, a triangle slice is also easier for kids to manage taking off bites versus one long uh, rectangle piece for a uh, practicing taking that sustained bite on a sandwich versus a triangle, they can't put that whole piece in their mouth so they're regulating over overstuffing. Also adding that crunch is a great way to uh, manage that overstuffing. A lot of toddlers, very typical, they overstuff their food. So that's why I always say, have it on a, uh, have it in a triangle shape, and then also add crunchy or big flavor to help kids manage what's in their mouth. So I'm gonna add some taco sauce. I didn't have any chili sauce, normally I would do that. But I got my taco sauce. You can do red, you can do green. I'm gonna grab my plate. And it looks like our quesadilla is about ready. I put my egg right on top. I'm gonna scoop it up. I put the cheese on the edges like I talked about, so it's extra crunchy. Kiddos, like I said, love crunch, and it just it just makes it delicious. Come on now. Okay, we have it done. Look at that. I got my leftover huevos rancheros from Cinco de Mayo. I'm gonna take a bite. I don't even have a uh, knife, so I'm just gonna take a bite right out of here. Oh my gosh, look at that crunch. The beans have got lots of protein. Quesadillas, again, are a great way to get that vehicle of vegetables and protein right in there. Now, I do want to say if you're a kiddo, you have a kiddo that is very sensitive to foods, you don't want to trick them. This isn't a way to hide, you know, for kids that have um, a lot of um, food, knee or food sensitivities or are aversive to lots of textures. But if it's a kiddo that, you know, typical toddler, you're trying to find ways to get vegetables in or proteins, adding it to a quesadilla is wonderful. I think the cheese on the side is just delicious. I sprinkled the cheese right on the edges so it gets that crisp. And you know, I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I have another kid in about 10 minutes, so you have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time on Speed Cheats. Catch you later.